Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm just a fellow who loves beer, and today I'll be retasting my 170th different beer, Fuller, Smith, and Turner PLC Griffin Breweries. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It is a long and convoluted name. Let's get that in focus. And... Fuller, Smith, and Turner PLC Griffin Brewery, London. Actually, based out of uh, Cheswick, let's get the white out out of there. There we go. And this beer's name is Fuller's ESB Extra Special Champion Ale. So. Right off the bat, easily about a finger and a half of wonderful, nice, foamy, uh, I want to say it's a, like a light apricot-y color, or a light peachy color, uh, fading down a little bit quick. Wonderful, dark, hmm, what color do I want to say that is? The joys of being colorblind. Um, I'm going to verge on like a wonderful amber that's dark and rich and delicious looking. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, they're based in Cheswick, London, England, and were established in 1845. Off the can, there's no product info save the name, company, and that it clocks in at 5.9%. Also that it contains malted barley. Hmm. Off their website, ESB was launched into the Fuller's family in 1971 as a winter brew to replace the beer named Old Burton Extra. The potential of the beer was soon realized and ESB was installed as a permanent fixture. Not only was it one of the strongest regularly brewed draft uh, beers in the country at 5.5%, it was also one of the tastiest with three Camera Beer of the Year Awards, two World Champion Beer Awards, and numerous other gold medals to speak of. ESB is quite simply the Champion Ale. I did finger quotation thingies, but you couldn't see that. Uh, ESB has a wonderfully rich mahogany appearance. Taking in the nose, the beer is bursting with cherry and orange, balanced by soft, malty, toffee, and caramel notes. The flavor delivers everything you would expect from such a full-bodied ale. The unique blend of North Down, Target, Challenger, and Golding's hops imparts grassy, peppery notes on the tongue, along with intense citrus fruit characters of grapefruits, and oranges, and lemons. The blend of pale ale and crystal malts in the brew give a biscuity, toffee element to the beer. A smooth, mellow bitterness lingers on the palate to give a superbly satisfying finish. Well, that sounds all well and good. Let's give it a taste. And what I gather from it... Uh, the aroma is delicious. I'm definitely getting the cherry and orange that they mentioned. It rounds into malty sweetness. Uh, it's making me think of pineapple upside down cake. Not the pineapple, but the syruped cake part. I find it has a light mouthfeel with a beautiful full body. Their tasty notes are pretty spot on. Grassy, delicate malts with a hearty citrus backbone. Oranges, grapefruits, more flesh than rind. A definite taste. It's mellow and easygoing, but it knows what its character is. The taste lingers and fades beautifully. On my metric system, I'll give it a one. It's good, and I would get it again if something better wasn't in the way. Beautiful beer. Cheers.